This was always going to be a difficult decision for the Brazilian president to make. Dilma Rousseff was caught in an almost impossible position. Ever since the former intelligence specialist Edward Snowden alleged the US National Security Agency had intercepted emails and messages from the Brazilian president, Mrs. Rousseff was under pressure to respond. Subsequent revelations made on Brazilian television that the state oil company Petrobras had also been spied upon brought even more calls for the president to cancel her forthcoming state visit to Washington. Even a late-night phone call from President Obama couldn't sway the Brazilian leader. Even though the White House later presented this as a joint decision and emphasized the strong relations with Brazil. I think it's because the relationship is so important and because it has so many facets uh, that the president agrees with uh, this decision that they made together to postpone uh, the visit. The president made clear that he is committed to working together with President Rousseff and her government to move beyond this issue as a source of tension in our relationship. Some business leaders in Brazil will question the wisdom of escalating a row with such an important trading partner. But the general perception here is that the Obama administration has yet to give an adequate response or an apology for the allegations of spying by the NSA. Dilma Rousseff's international standing might take a hit from what may be regarded in diplomatic circles as petty nationalism. But seeking re-election next year, the president may have succumbed to domestic pressure for good reasons. Wira Davis, BBC News, Rio de Janeiro.